I hope you're all well, my dears. I hope you're in the mood for looking at some lovely handbags. So today I'm coming at you with my little Louis Vuitton collection. So this is just my handbags. It's not my Louis Vuitton accessories. It's just my handbags. Um, so without further ado, let's get stuck in. So there's no particular order, but I will start with the very first one that I ever bought, which is my Louis Vuitton Cerise Cherries bag, which is very old. I say very old. I think it was 19, is it 1995, I think. Um, I've probably got that totally wrong, but it, it is quite well used. The handles have got a very dark patina on them. Um, the little print has started to wear a little bit on some of the edges. Now, I know this bag was sort of lovely, then it kind of <clears throat> was just the same as all the other beautiful Louis Vuitton. And then a celebrity had it and then everybody wanted it. And I've just hung on to mine because I love it because it was my very first one, not because a celebrity had it. And I just adore it, it's so cute. So it is um, a Speedy 25, so it's like the smaller one. They do do two smaller ones after this, I think. Um, but this is one of the smaller ones, but they're still not really small. You can still fit an awful lot in them. Um, they're just one big compartment. This has got a liner in it and then it's got a little slip pocket at the back. Um, I just love speedies. I've had speedies for a long time. Fell out of love with them a bit, did sell a few of mine and I've kind of fell back in love with them again. I don't regret the ones that I've sold because it's nice to sort of move on and, and add different bits to your collection but yeah, so sweet and so lovely. So I do a couple of mod shots as well so that you get an idea for the size of them as well. So um, top handle, very easy to carry. Then crook of your arm. They don't really go in the crook of your arm. If you've got really skinny arms, you probably could get away with it. They sort of more sit halfway down your arm and you can sort of clutch it underneath. Um, and that's pretty much it because they don't have a long strap or anything. Um, this is not one of the bandolier ones with the long strap. So uh, yeah, so they're pretty much just, you just carry them, but they're really easy to carry. They're really, really light. Uh, my first few designer bags were Mulberry and Mulberry are absolutely beautiful but the leather is really thick on them so they can be quite heavy whereas these are really really light because they're just coated canvas with lovely leather straps and little chap things as well. They're just adorable. So that was my first one. Uh, right, next. I don't really know where to start. Okay, uh, we'll go with this one. So this is a speedy... I think it's a 30. I can't remember if these are 30 or 35s. I think the 30s. Um, so this is the Louis Vuitton sequin one, which is, I think it's got the date in it. Has this one got the date in it? No, it hasn't. I think they're from 2012, I think. So they are like a special edition. They're called a Sunshine Express. And if you've ever watched the Louis Vuitton catwalk video that accompanies this bag, they're absolutely amazing. I'll try and remember to add the link down below, but they get off an old carriage train and they come out with all different sorts of luggages and they're all sparkling. They've got big buckles and stuff on them. It's the most beautiful catwalk show to watch. It's lovely. So this is one of those pieces. So this one is a special one because it's got um, a special stamp on it there with, with a P, which means it was a press release. So this was probably gifted to somebody um, that worked for a newspaper or a celebrity. We're not quite sure where it came from, but it was gifted to somebody. So somewhere along the line, this has belonged to somebody quite important. So beautiful, beautiful bag. As you can see, there's no lights on. There's not really much sunshine today, but they shine like anything. They have little feet on the bottom. And they come with a luggage tag as well, and they're just absolutely beautiful. I love them so much. They do them in three different colours. You can get black, this one, and like a reddy coloured one. It's like a reddy pinky colour. So lovely. So that's that one. And then because I loved it so much, I've actually got the black one too. In fact, I bought the black one first. Um, so I had the black one first and then I managed to source the, this, the other greeny coloured one. So this is the black one. Again, not quite so obvious that it's Louis Vuitton. Um, the little sequins do spell LV, but it's not really, really obvious unless you get really sort of close up to it. Again, they come with luggage tag. Uh, they have a different push lock thing on them to a normal speedy. 
Again, they're not heavy, but they are a bit big. But they're beautiful. Look how they shine. I'm such a magpie. I love stuff that sparkles. So let's do a little model shot of them both together. Absolutely beautiful bags. Look at them. <gasps> Absolutely stunning. So again, both in the crook of your arm. Um, and they do, they do go in the crook of your arm, but again, they're quite big, so they do stick out a bit, but they're just absolutely beautiful. Really, really beautiful handbags. Look at them. They fascinate me by how much they shine. They're so pretty. So that's those two. And then, what else have I got? My knees creak. I do apologise about my knees. That's so bad. Um, so the next one I've got is this one. It's um, an Alma, I think it's like a PM size. And again, Beyonce, I think, had one of these. And so they, again, became very popular. And I think they've kind of gone back out of fashion again now, but I just love it for what it is. It's so unusual. So it is, um, is it calf fur, calf hair, uh, leopard print. And then it's like a normal Alma, but it doesn't have a strap. So the top strap is this like little loop thing and it just goes over your arm. It's an absolute pleasure to carry because it just sits on your arm so perfectly. Um, it doesn't really go on your shoulder because the strap is kind of made the wrong way around to go on your shoulder. So you can hold it like this or you can sort of just tuck it on your arm. But it's so lovely, so, so lovely. So the leopard sort of print wraps right the way around the bag and then it does sort of open up here, so you can actually put your hand in either side of it, and then it's just one big compartment. And then it says inside it, Alana, which I think was the designer that made it, $13.99. I should know more about these really, shouldn't I, but I don't. I just know how much I loved it, so that's that. Then we've got, I don't want this video to be too long, but there's a few bags to look at. So then I've got this one. I don't, I can't remember what this one's called. Is it a locket or something? Um, so it's like a special edition one. So it's got an awful lot of like pockets and compartments. The sides of it are white horse hair, I think, or calf hair. And then the bottom of it and the handles are alligator. So, I think, I don't know whether they still make alligator bags or not, but I know they're quite rare, quite hard to get hold of. This is not a desirable bag, not a lot of people like it, but I liked it because it was a bit unusual. Um, and it's just really lovely. Like, look at the little thing on the front, it's so cute, look, little pocket. And it's just different, and I like stuff that's different. So, to open it, you lift that through there, I don't. No, the lock doesn't come off, so the lock does stay on the bag. A lot of Louis Vuitton, the locks come off, but they don't on this one. And then I've got it well stuffed. It's got lots of compartments, and it does hold an awful lot of stuff. White is not everybody's cup of tea, and obviously you can't wear it with a lot of dark colours and stuff in case you get colour transfer on it. Um, it's got a little pocket on the back. It has got a bit of colour transfer on the back. You can just see it a bit. And this is like silk fabric with the Louis Vuitton logo engraved in it. So again, really nice bag to carry. The handles feel absolutely divine. Goes in the crook of your arm, no problem at all. Doesn't really go on your shoulder. You would struggle to carry it on your shoulder. So again, it's kind of crook of your arm bag, top handle, but it does feel absolutely beautiful to carry. It feels so nice. These handles just feel so luxurious. It's just beautiful. So that's the next one. Then we've got another sequin one. We seem to have a bit of a theme going off here, don't we? So the next one is another Speedy. And this one is Flamer Iban, I think it is. And each little square is sequins. I saw another YouTuber have this bag. I think hers was in black. So hers had black sequins. Mine's got blue handles and blue sequins and a blue bottom. This one doesn't have feet on it. And again, absolutely beautiful. It has a little cloche on the front, which has the key in it for your padlock, which is on the end. But again, look how it shines. Look, it's 
absolutely fascinating. I could sit and look at these bags all day, even though I don't use them very often. They're just like pieces of art. They are absolutely beautiful. The quality of them is just mind blowing. Look at the stitching on the handles. Just absolutely beautiful. They must use the best sequins ever. They're just stunning. So again, hook of your arm, just mainly really just a top handle, but they're just an absolute pleasure to carry. They're so light. They don't wear anything at all. It's just, they're just absolutely beautiful. Look, so nice. <gasps> Lovely. So that's the next one. Um, that one's just got a dark, I should mention that, it's just a dark blue lining. I think it's like velvety because the normal um, speedies have like a, just a beigey coloured lining. So some of these, the special ones, do have a different coloured lining. Then what can we do next? Next we've got not one, but two vintage cam bags. So again, these come and go in popularity. Sometimes they're in, sometimes they're not. I just love them for what they are. So they're just like little hat boxes really, but they're just so lovely. So these are in epi leather. So they have the LV logo on the front. My red one is a bit battered. I did debate about selling it. It's got a bit of a split on the handle. So I did debate about selling it, but then I thought you can actually just put a, a twilly over the handle um, to disguise it. But when you use it, you can't actually really see the crack. It's only if you press it, but these are old bags. so. You know they've got a bit of history behind them they just they're just lovely i just love them for what they are so i thought well because it was a little bit damaged i thought you wouldn't get much for it anyway so i'll just keep it so these are my two lovely can bags and then if you watch me on here regularly you'll know that a couple of days ago i did buy this one so this is the new cans bag so got the tag on it <laughs> so this is the new cans bag so as you can see it is a lot smaller than the original one you can see that the new one has little feet on the bottom and then the new one also has the little added um, grommets on the side so that you can attach a long strap as well so it is more versatile so the new cans i think the handle drop might be slightly longer yeah it is a thing so you can wear them very easy in the crook of your arm. Um, obviously, you wouldn't wear it on your shoulder and you can't really get it on your shoulder, but you wouldn't anyway. So again, you can sort of wear them, carry them like so. And then obviously the new one, you can wear that on your shoulder. And then you can also wear it crossbody, which the older one, obviously you can't do that. So the older one is just in the crook of your arm but again they're really light they don't weigh anything so it doesn't really matter it's just if you need to get your hands free i know some people they you can buy these like little grommet things and then what they've done they've attached them to the side of the bag so that you can make this into a crossbody it just depends if you want to do anything to a bag i'm a bit scared of doing stuff like that i tend to keep them as they originally are but if you did want to you can pick these up quite cheap sometimes off ebay and then you could put the little rivets on the side and then get a strap and then make it into a crossbody. These ones also come with like a little hook on the back, which I think is to put your little zip pull thing through it. And then obviously you can padlock it short. So that's really useful as well. Um, you can padlock that one to there, I think as well. So it still works in the same way. You can still do that. Really good. So that's the little cans bags. Um, then I've got this, which doesn't really class as a bag, but I just thought I would include it. So this is a Louis Vuitton vanity trunk. So it's only like a small trunk, but obviously you can get them a lot, lot bigger. But this one is a vanity one. Again, beautiful, beautiful piece of history. So I bought this from Bad Bag Mad Boutique a couple of years ago, and it's just absolutely stunning. So nice. And feel very lucky to own something like this it's so nice so it's got its original tag in the back of it so the lady at bad bag mad booty uh, lovely sherry she did buy this to go inside it because it didn't have one so it's got a newer inner section 
Um, and then I've got a few little bits and bobs in it. Just so nice, so, so nice. And then this has like a little mirror in it as well. So this is starting to age really nice as well. Oh dear. Ta -da. I've got a few little bits and bobs, little treasures in there. So sweet. So that is the innard to my vanity trunk. Again, it's just so nice to own if you do love Louis Vuitton, it's just lovely. So again, but they weigh an absolute ton. I cannot believe that people would have travelled with these. They are so, so heavy because obviously they're so well made, but they have some real weight to them. It's unbelievable. So next bag, there's not many left now. Next bag is my Louis Vuitton Stephen Sprouse leopard print, I think it is. So this is like a carpet bag. So it's really thick like fabric and it's got leather trim, leather handles. It's got gunmetal hardware. This also has feet as well. Um, this one has got a personalized luggage tag. It's not my initials. Um, I bought this off eBay and it came with this luggage tag on it, which they've had personalized. Um, side, I think it's just one big compartment as they all are. I think it's just black. And then it's got one slip pocket at the back as well. This one's slightly heavier. I think it's because it's thicker fabric and like not the canvas. Um, very unusual sort of bag. I think you either love it or you hate it. So it feels funny because it is like real thick sort of carpet. Again, same as all the other speedies. Crook of your arm. Uh, it doesn't really go on your shoulder. You struggle to carry it on your shoulder so really it's crook of the arm top handle but again just so nice to carry really are a beautiful beautiful bag so lovely so that's my other speedy and then i've got hmm, this lovely little bag which i did buy the other week as well so this is the louis vuitton vanity pm which is really really cute comes with this really beautiful chain so like i say i did go off louis vuitton for a while but i've got back into it again so i did sell some of my other bags so that i could buy some more louis vuitton I just love the history behind it it's so adorable so again this is just one big compartment um and it's got a little pocket at the back and you have to manhandle it a bit to zip it up but it's so sweet again um doesn't really well you can get it on your wrist and then obviously hold it in the top of your hand and then you can wear it on your shoulder. So the newer Louis Vuitton bags, they seem to make it more so you can use them on your shoulder and crossbody, whereas a lot of the older ones, they are just about holding them in your hand. And then this one also goes crossbody. It does sit a bit high crossbody, so if you're really tall, you might struggle. Um, I'm five foot six and about a size 12, and at the minute, it is quite trendy to wear your bags higher crossbody. So for now, I'm quite happy to wear it across body. Whether when the fashions change, you might not wear it so high, but I don't know. So that's it, cross body. And again, really beautiful little bag. It's got so much detail on it. It's so nice. It's got the little key inside its little cloche. Beautiful little handles. This is the reverse uh, canvas. So it's reverse monogram. Lovely little zip pulls. It's even got LV engraved on the little grommets on the side. They just are, are absolutely beautiful. So, last one, which is the one I'm currently using at the moment, is my Louis Vuitton Speedy Fleur de Gays, which I have to say, I think out of all my bags, this is my favourite. And it's probably one of the most favourite bags that I own out of my all my handbags. It's just absolutely beautiful so it's sequins um on black velvet these do come up for sale sometimes pre-loved if you ever get the chance to buy one treat yourself they're absolutely beautiful they're a pleasure to hold it's quite obvious they are louis vuitton but then it's also got like a beautiful twist on it with this beautiful sort of embellishment on it and it's got beautiful little gold feet um, it's just got a normal, well, I say normal lining. It's got the Louis Vuitton printed on the lining. It's just absolutely beautiful. 
I really, really love this bag so much. Um, I've owned it for probably about four years, I think. I've owned it a while, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's my favorite and I love it so much. So again, crook of your arm. Doesn't really go any higher. So I tend to wear it in the crook of my arm. And when you walk about it, you can see it twinkling, it catches the light and it's just, very, very smart, very classy, holds loads, and it's just so, so beautiful. I love it so much. So if I had to part with loads, I'd part with loads, and I would just keep this, because it's just so nice. I love it. <laughs> but they are all really, really beautiful in their own way. So that is my Louis Vuitton collection. I don't think I've missed any. I was trying to wrap my brains off. I thought, well, no, because I've sold um so i had quite a few different speedies that were just in the canvas with different patterns on um i had this the dotty one with like pinks and reds on it that was nice i sold that i had the steven sprouse roses i sold that i had um some of the alma pm i sold that i had a beautiful lilac colored one i sold that um i sold quite a few really to have a, a mix around and try some different things so i'm quite happy with my little collection at the moment they're absolutely lovely so i hope you've enjoyed this which is your favorite i'd be very interested to know do you prefer just the plain louis vuitton canvas with no pattern on i don't really own a plain one the only plain one is my trunk really um i suppose that's quite a plain one but again that's the reverse um, monogram so I don't really own just a normal plain one but I like the normal plain ones I might try and invest in a vintage one again because they're nice to tie twillies on and you can hang bag charms and stuff off them as well so obviously you can't really hang anything off these because they're a statement in themselves so that is if you, if you pick up an older plain one you can play about with it and make it look different and I love the vintage Louis Vuitton they're just so lovely and they're not that expensive you can pick them up off eBay they're just so nice. Anyway, so many, many thanks for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you do enjoy handbags as much as me, then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. So I love you and leave you and I'll speak to you very soon. Let me know what your favourite is down below. Bye!